My top today is very... Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. It's from Maritzia, but it's so cute. Love berries and cream vibes. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. I love my makeup today. I actually went kind of more pinky, pinky nude with it. Maybe I'll upload a toot on this look. I don't know, I'm curious because on Instagram and on TikTok, uh, shameless plug, people really like my quick little get ready with me videos and I've gotten a lot of comments on YouTube as well saying that you guys like get ready with me. So let me know if that's the case because this is a super simple, easy pink look that I would love to show you. Also, I noticed today that Jessica Braun literally uploaded her empties video today and so in my quest to become just like her I too am doing an empties video. Honestly I didn't wait as long this time because I felt like they were getting a little bit long and by the end of them I was just like I went through this I went through this I went through this like I just wasn't as you know fired up about it so I want to do them more often so that I uh, can actually make the videos on them not 45 minutes long. If you are new here, as I mentioned, my name is Rudy and we talk about more than just my trash on this channel. We talk about skincare, makeup, mental health, we do vlogs, we talk about a little bit of fashion, we're gonna do some fall hauls coming up and I would love to have you subscribe. I have got to put you guys on, I think it's the Silk brand, um, Unsweetened Pumpkin Creamer. I think it's almond milk, it might be oat milk, I think it's almond milk, but they had a sweetened version and an unsweetened version and I was immediately hooked. It's basically like, the essence of pumpkin in your coffee without all of the sugar. So if you're someone like me who's like, PSLs are too sweet, definitely try this creamer out at home because again, it gives you the essence of a pumpkin without all the sugar. Let's start with some shower products. First up is something that I mentioned in, okay, there's hairs all over it. Does anyone else shed an extreme amount or what feels like an extreme amount. Like literally, I feel like I have to sweep my bathroom floor every single day and I wonder how there is any hair left on my little ass head. Truly, it is a sight to behold. I talked about the Kosas Sport Good Body Skin, I think in a What's New at Sephora video and then maybe in a Favorites video. But the fact that I went through it basically in a few weeks to tell you all that I feel about it. This has become my favorite body wash on the market. I am kind of sad to say that because it is really expensive, but I just have not found anything like it. And if you have followed along in my empties journey, you will know that I have been trying to find a holy grail body wash for a really long time. And I do like the method body washes from Target and I do have one of them in my shower now because again, this is a pretty small bottle. But what makes it special is that it is a AHA and enzyme exfoliating wash. So this is for people who may have KP or chicken skin or a body odor and you feel like maybe you have some body acne. It's really gonna help take care of that in a gentle way. And on top of that, the smell is amazing. I think it's jasmine based. It's just the most beautiful scent. It lathers really nicely. It doesn't irritate my skin. I did have someone ask me, do I use this on my hoo-ha? And I don't, um, I just, you know, I don't think you really need to exfoliate that. So regular soap is just fine. It's good to have this one in an alternative soap in your shower, but if you are looking for a really nice, beautiful scented, luxurious exfoliating experience, Definitely recommend picking this up. It is expensive, but to me, worth it. Next up is a hair product, and this is the Kristen S. Fragrance Free Deep Treatment Mask. This product is amazing. I think I talked about this in my hair video, so I have an entire video on all of the products that I use in my hair, but to be honest, it probably needs to be updated because I've really been testing out new things here and there. However, this was in the video and is still something that I really, really love to use. This has 6.7 ounces of a treatment mask. Again, it's fragrance-free, so really good for sensitive skin and people who deal with fragrance issues. It is an airtight pump, so you're not going to get super messy while you're trying to put this in your hair. And it's just a really beautiful, thick, nice conditioner works well on my straight hair. I have seen people with curly hair use it and have good results. I don't know about coily hair, but if you have more of hair like me that's straight, that gets oily easily, but also dry on the ends, I think you would really like this. It's one of those products that makes me feel like my hair has soaked it up. So when I wash it out, it almost feels like I'm not washing anything out because my hair has actually absorbed the product, which is really, really nice. It always feels full, bouncy, and very soft the day after I use it. And it helps with a little bit of shine and frizz as well. And it's drugstore price, so I definitely recommend it. Another shower product that is just 
past its time and has been replaced with something even better. This is the Neutrogena Clear Pore Cleanser slash Mask. This is a benzoyl peroxide based mask slash cleanser. And when I first started dealing with acne, I was experimenting with a lot of different ingredients and what would work for me. And I wanted to try benzoyl peroxide, um, but this definitely was not the best way to dive into that ingredient. I started using this under my arms when I realized that it was not great for the face and it works pretty well, but honestly, I've just had this for way too long and I feel like it needs to be tossed. There's only like a little bit left. I was under the impression that benzoyl peroxide caused a cooling sensation because this was the only product that I had used that had benzoyl peroxide in it for a really long time. And and that is because this has menthol in it. So um, when I tried the CeraVe, which is the one that has replaced this, it's the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser with 4% benzoyl peroxide. I was waiting for that cooling to happen because I thought, well, benzoyl peroxide cools your face and it stains your sheets. No, honey, they went ahead and put menthol in this product that you left on your face and now your armpits are cold all the time. I'm not gonna lie, it feels kinda nice on the pits. This is just not necessary for me. I think that it works for some people. I've heard good things about it from specific people, but I think I will stick with the CeraVe one. It's much more gentle, it's still effective, and um, it doesn't have menthol in it. Another in-shower fail, uh, I actually talked about this in my August favorites and flops, is the Flamingo Racers. I've heard such amazing things about the brand Flamingo, especially for my close friends who just have really liked their body care products, who really liked their spray on lotions and their oils and their body washes. This was the first thing that I had ever tried from them and I absolutely hated it. This razor, first of all, there's no top to it because um, my pit hair was so strong that it just flew off in the shower. It was horrible. And by that I mean the actual moisturization around the razors the actual razor part was gone within one wash and it says that it is including aloe in there and that's kind of gonna help soothe and hydrate your areas however the second time I used it it was completely dry and it was like rubbing plastic all over my legs with nothing to help glide it so I ended up uh, throwing it away and I re-upped my Billy subscription because I have yet to find a razor that continuously is sent to me and easy to use and doesn't nick my skin and actually stays moisturized. So I very much do not recommend the Flamingo razors, especially if you are a hairy woman like myself. This one is a will repurchase in the future, but not repurchasing right now because I have too many other things like it product. And that is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Wash. This looks absolutely disgusting, I apologize. This is my husband's favorite face wash and he is begging me to buy another one right now. However, I have full sizes of the La Roche-Posay and the Cer... I have full sizes of the La Roche-Posay and the CeraVe foaming cleansers right now and they are incredibly similar to this daily cleanser and they don't bother our skin. So as much as I know he loves this one, I really want to go through those before I start buying more cleansers because there's so much product in these and I don't want them just sitting around the house. This is an amazing cleanser. Cetaphil has amazing products for people with acne prone and sensitive skin. I think they are very underrated just because... They're really boring, but this is what you will see in your dermatologist's office. I've talked about it many times. It got me through a lot of my tretinoin early days, something that I really love using. And once we get through the La Roche-Posay and the CeraVe, we will probably repurchase this one. I was really proud that I went through this because I really liked it, but I don't feel like I go through skincare very often because you know I like to mix things up and I like to test things out for you guys. And so when I actually finished this down to the last drop, I was so proud of myself. This is the Milk Drops Probiotic Ceramide Serum from Beekman 1802. You guys know that I absolutely love that brand. I've worked with them in a sponsored capacity on my TikTok page many, many times, and I just love the products that they put out. This serum is amazing with tretinoin. So this is a ceramide probiotic serum that really helps hydrate and strengthen your skin barrier before you go in with your tretinoin. So I will wash my face, use this serum, put on my moisturizer, sit for about 20 minutes, and then put on my tretinoin, and I feel like the next morning, my skin is a lot less dry, a lot less irritated, and it just really helps in making sure your skin barrier is prepared for all of the irritation that retinol and tretinoin can bring. Plus, it's in a glass bottle. 
and it comes in a mini travel size and a full size. I absolutely love this. I am going through a few other serums right now, so I haven't repurchased this, but once winter comes around, this will definitely be back in my routine. I think I have yet to have an empties video that doesn't have a CeraVe moisturizing cream tub in it. This is my favorite body moisturizer of all time. I also love a lot of the La Roche-Posay and Aveeno body moisturizers, but I just continue to go back to CeraVe because it really helped me in my eczema journey. And if you're dealing with eczema, I actually have a whole video on how I really helped get rid of it. Obviously eczema is chronic, so you'll always have it, but this cream has really helped me with making sure that it's at bay, especially in the winter. It sinks into the skin beautifully. It doesn't leave any residue on the body. I also use this on my face when it's super irritated. It's actually fungal acne friendly. It's just a great product, super inexpensive, and I love buying the jumbo sizes of these at Costco. If there's any product I've ever recommended that you would buy, it's this one, and just trust me on this one, okay? You'll love it. Speaking of CeraVe, I went through a tiny little healing ointment tube. My husband and I are both obsessed with this for our lips and I also use this around my mouth. My husband has pretty severe allergies to soy and to almonds and so he really can't use a lot of lip stuff because a lot of it has soy in it. So this one works very well for him. I am really not wanting to buy the full size tub of the healing ointment and I really liked having the minis but I cannot find them anywhere so I need to go to Walgreens and see if I can find these like travel sets because it was really nice being able to like throw this in my purse without having like the big tub of it or the tube of it So if you know where the minis live, let me know because I got them forever ago But absolutely love this product also is fungal acne safe really good for super dry skin or for occluding a lightweight moisturizer Just make sure you don't use it on the exact same night as your tretinoin as it can increase irritation and strength in retinol but otherwise absolutely love this product really great in the winter quickly we went through two of our favorite toothpaste this is the crest 3d white stain eraser i actually got this recommendation from jessica braun and i absolutely love this stuff i get compliments on how white my teeth are in person and it is i swear because of this and also because of the whitening strips that i use from crest but this really helps the whitening strips go longer in my opinion and you can get a three pack of this kind on amazon you all know how i feel about tower 28 as a brand and if you don't i have an entire video going over all of the products that I own from that brand, but I always end up going through at least one of my SOS sprays, whether it's a mini or a maxi. This product I mentioned also in my eczema video, it's approved by the National Eczema Association and it's actually the star ingredient of hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid is found naturally in your skin and it helps repair wounds. It's really, really beautiful. I love to use this pretty much every single day, but especially in the summer when I'm feeling super sweaty and gross and I have been using it to death while it's been really hot out. I always have a backup on hand, like literally Literally, I have a full one right here. I have minis in all of my purses and in my vanity. It's just my favorite facial spray. And if you're looking for something for sensitive skin that's going to help make you feel refreshed, you can refresh your makeup with it and also help your skin at the same time, highly, highly recommend. This empty went by so fast, although not really. I think I got this last December. This is the Kosas Extra Strength um, CBD lip balm and I freaking loved this stuff. I used it to the absolute brim. My husband also really liked it. It was just absolutely beautiful and I actually got a backup of just their regular um, lip fuel without the CBD. But if I could go back, I would get this one again. It's just really, really nice. It leaves a little bit of a cooling sensation on the lips, but nothing crazy. And I just felt it really strengthened my lips during the day and it was great in the winter. It also has a fat tip so you can really just very quickly and I liked that it was clear. So I will definitely repurchase this, love this product. It is expensive, but it's a nice little treat if you wanna have a nice chapstick always on hand. A few hair products that I went through, of course a lot of dry shampoo, but the most notable thing that I went through is the rose water toner from Coco Kind. Some people like to use this as a toner on the face. Uh, I am not one of those people. It's a little bit too fragrant for that, but I do like to use it as a toner on my scalp. Also mentioned this in the hair video, but basically using this on your scalp once you're out of the shower or in between washes really just helps hydrate the scalp and keeps it from flaking. It's a beautiful scent and I just found that when I use this at night in the morning, my scalp just feels a lot more refreshed. Some of my frizz has gone down and honestly, it's just a nice extra step in my routine. Definitely not necessary and I haven't repurchased it yet. I haven't noticed a crazy difference while not using it, but it was really nice in my routine, especially when I was going really far in between wash days. I went through three different dry shampoos from three different brands. One being, of course, my Batiste dry shampoo in the clean and light bare version. This is the one I always repurchase. This is the one I will continue to repurchase because 
It's just so amazing for the price. And so many of you have said the same to me that like nothing beats Batiste and I couldn't agree more. And the other two I went through were actually high end and I just go through these so fast that I feel insane spending like $30 on a dry shampoo. So the first one is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Advanced Dry Shampoo. This is a new one in their line. And everyone said this makes your hair feel super duper clean. And I would agree, but it feels just as good in the Batiste, as the Batiste and the Batiste may actually be better. So I definitely am not going to buy the full size of this because again, it did nothing that the Batiste doesn't already do. The other mini that I went through is the Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar. I absolutely love this. I think I like it even more than the Living Proof Dry Shampoos. But again, this is a $23 dry shampoo and I don't notice that big of a difference in my hair from using this versus Batiste. And so I just always go back to Batiste. But for some reason, I continue to buy these mini. So I usually get them as gifts, in which case I will absolutely use them because I do like them. However, if I'm purchasing saying is Batiste. I only went through one makeup item this whole entire time and it's not even really all the way emptied, but it's time to go. This is the Shape Tape Glow Wand from Tarte in the mini and I am in shade Alight. This stuff is gorgeous. It is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Flawless Filter. It absolutely is. The shade range is not as good, but it is incredibly similar. So if you are looking for something that's a little bit cheaper, it also comes with a full-size one that has a little um, sponge on the other end. Totally recommend it. And quick plug, you can get 15% off of Tarte's website using the code Rudy Berry site-wide. And I do get a kickback from that. So if you do use the code, thank you in advance for supporting the channel. Definitely love this product. Love the Charlotte Tilbury as well. But I really... I really liked having the mini for travel. So if you're traveling a lot and you're looking for something similar to the Charlotte Tilbury that's a highlighter, totally pick this up. I went through another Dove Dry Spray Invisible with the no white marks on 100 colors. Sheer cool flavor, flavor, <laughs> scent. And um, I use this in conjunction with my Kosas deodorant. So I think I talked about my Kosas deodorant in a couple favorites video. I also have a video doing a full face of Kosas makeup. I love their underarm deodorant. It is an AHA like BHA chemical exfoliant deodorant, but I find that it doesn't help with my sweat because it's not an antiperspirant. So I like to use this on top of it. And I feel like the combination of the two helps with my stink and then also helps with my sweat. So in the winter, I don't use this quite as much, but in the summer, it is a perfect way to like kind of dry the first layer of the Kosas stuff, especially because if you're sweaty, it kind of stays sticky on your arms and this spray like dries it instantly. So if you've been trying to make the Kosas one work and you feel like you need something to help with your sweat, try this out. The last thing I wanna talk about is a probiotic that I went through and I'll be honest, like I don't feel like I noticed that big of a difference in my BMs, if you will. This is the Ancient Nutrition SBO Probiotics Ultimate and I have used their collagen in the past and a few other like multivitamins from them. But honestly, I don't notice any change from using any vitamins really. However, all of my labs come back very good when I'm eating vitamins, so I continue to do that. But with a probiotic, I'm really looking to make a difference, if you will. I think I mentioned to you guys a while ago that I had to get a colonoscopy for my stomach issues and um, there's just a lot going down there, going on down there. That's always gone on down there since I was a kid. Um, you know, they say, you know, pretty girls have IBS. That's what they say. I didn't say it, they said it. We all know hot women and men deal with bowel issues. So if you have a probiotic that you really love, please let me know down below. I've heard amazing things about the brand Seed, but they have like a waiting list and I need to start taking these puppies now. Trust me, I need to take them now. So now that I'm out of this one, I'm looking for a new one to test. So let me know down below what your favorite probiotic is, especially one that you feel like has really made a difference in your dark matter, if you will. I do have a few candles, but I feel like they're the candles I always talk about from Nella Moon. So if you're interested in the kind of candles that make your house smell rich, go watch my last empties videos because they're just the candles that I always repurchase. But I will be updating for fall. As you can see, there is a candle going right here behind me. And my husband said it smells like fireball alcohol. So I have to um, light it when he's not home because I love it. We're going to do a fall haul from Target. We're gonna do a skims overview. We're gonna talk about a lot of fun stuff. Once I start up my Tretinoin again, we're gonna talk about my new routines. If you're curious about why I stopped using Tretinoin, I can link that video up above. Don't worry, we will be back on very soon. And I will see you guys in the next video shortly. Bye.